Portland police make one last weekend sweep for evidence on Rocky Butte, while friends and family of a teenage murder victim spend another weekend searching for clues. K2's Bob High joins us live from Northeast Portland, where volunteers spent the day passing out flyers. And Bob, a vigil for 14-year-old Yashani Vaughn starts nearby in about two hours. That's right, Anna. This is still the base of operations for a small crowd that's been going door to door, handing out leaflets all afternoon. The goal, hoping one person with one bit of information about where Yashani is, will finally step forward. Even if it's the worst, we still want to help. Friends and family, even strangers who don't know Yashani Vaughn's family, pass out donated flyers, hoping one of them will lead to a tip that leads investigators to where Yashani is. Her mother is my friend, but even if she wasn't, I mean, it's just not her child, it's a community's child. And I feel like if this was my niece or my nephew or my daughter, I would want the whole community to be helping. Do you ever think this many people would come forward to try and help? No. Mm -mm. I didn't think we had that much love. <laughs> but I do thank everybody, though, that's been giving, putting their effort and support into um, helping me find Yashani, though. Even though 16-year-old Parrish Benetti is held without bail on murder charges in Yashani's killing, police haven't found her body or the gun they say was used to kill her. Not far from the leafleting, about 50 searchers spent one last weekend combing the most isolated areas of Rocky Butte for evidence that might lead to Yashani. Ready up here? Or strengthen the case against the teen police say killed her. Any expectation of the weapons up here at all? You know, the, one of the things that detectives are looking for is all evidence, including, you know, potential weapons, clothing, uh, anything that may have relevance to this case. And people have been showing up here at the base of operations for the volunteer effort uh, for a number of hours. That leafleting will continue until 8 o'clock when the vigil is scheduled here at Northeast 82nd and Russell across from Madison High School. Live in Northeast Portland, Bob High, K2 News. They have certainly been persistent in their efforts, Bob. Thank you. We can tell you just into the newsroom a new picture of a tattoo on Yashani Vaughn's right leg. It says Bonnie B, that's in Chinese phonetic lettering. That was apparently one of Yashani's nicknames. Her family is sharing this picture with us as yet another clue in their search for her. The 16-year-old boy accused of killing Yashani now faces murder charges. Parrish Benetti appeared in juvenile court yesterday. A Multnomah County grand jury indicted him on one count of murder with a firearm and one count of manslaughter. The new charge states that Benetti used a gun in the killing. Yashani's mother and Benetti's father both testified to the grand jury. Also, a judge denied Benetti's bail.